It's that time of a year where I better drop a video on sprinting and exactly why you shouldn't sprint like this. If you do so, you'll lose the ball. The reason why is because how do we control the ball? It's when it's at our feet, okay? It's common knowledge. The ball is at your feet, you have control. You can dribble, you can pass, you can shoot, you can skill. If you're sprinting, look at the touch. Look at the touch, how big it is. You're more inclined to lose it because if you take a touch with the R2 button, it goes out around two meters in front of you compared to half a meter. You can't pass, you can't dribble, you can't react to your opponent approaching you. So that's why you should never sprint. I say never, it's really for the point of this video to get you out of the habit, okay? Of course you should sprint in certain situations. Pro players do it, but even them, themselves, make mistakes like this, you know? They're sprinting, they lose the ball. It's not good to sprint, it really isn't. How do you get out of the habit of it? Of it? <clears throat> well, like I, tell my clients. We're gonna cut it out completely. I want you to tape up that R2 button and not use it again until I say. Because there are certain scenarios where sprinting is useful and of course you need to exploit the spaces that open up. But if you truly wanna become a better player, then learning how to actually build up through passing, dribbling, skill moves, and in general working it into the box to a crucial area without sprinting is your key to success and attacking and improving in the AFC. EA added in R1 dribbling for a reason. It's an alternative to sprinting. It's a quicker way of driving the ball at the defense without losing control. I highly recommend cutting out the R2 button completely and substituting it with the R1 button, AKA sprint dribbling, okay? And this will allow you to practice building up and not relying on trying to sprint in the midfield, in your attack, and even in the defense like some people do. Stop sprinting, you'll become a much better player. I am coaching one-on-one. -on -one. If you wanna be a part of the academy, there's monthly coaching classes. There is a tight-knit community on the Discord. You can have access to me, I'll answer any of your questions, and I work one-on-one -on -one with you. Check it out, the link is down below. Also, subscribe, like the video, help your boy out. We're working day in, day out, pumping out these uploads for you, and you're learning so much. So the least you can do is subscribe. I'm out, signing out, au revoir, adios, salam, ciao, goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplement, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code DILLANETSATP at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.